Many people are asking the question can Blender be used on a mobile device whether it's Android or iOS. So in this video I'm going to share with you the answer for that question and also explain how it's not a good idea to use a phone for Blender. Blender is a powerful 3D modeling and animation software that is commonly used on desktop computers running Windows, macOS or Linux operation systems. It is not specifically designed for mobile devices and therefore there is no mobile version of the application readily available for download on smartphones or tablets. While it may seem like a limitation, it's important to consider the complexity of Blender and how it's typically used making it not particular for mobile devices. The Blender community is rapidly expanding and as a result opinions on the developments are becoming more diverse. One viewport that had been bought up in the idea ideas that Blender should be made more accessible by creating a mobile version for tablets and smartphones. While there may be some benefits to using Blender on a tablet, it's not visible to use it on a phone due to the complexity of the user interface and the limitations in terms of performance. The interface of Blender is packed with tools and features which would be difficult to navigate on a small phone screen. Additionally, the text elements and buttons would be too small to be usable. Furthermore, Blender requires a significant amount of computation power to run which current mobile phones may not have even if they can run the software. Given that the full version of Blender is not suitable for mobile use, the idea of creating a simplified mobile version has been proposed, such as an app that could potentially allow users to view 3D models created in Blender on their mobile devices. However, it is important to note that while viewing models may be possible, editing them on a mobile device would require significant limitations in terms of tools and features. In order to make a mobile version of Blender visible, many of the features presented in the desktop version would need to be sacrificed, potentially resulting in a version that bear little resemblance to the original. As such, it is unlikely that a mobile version of Blender will be developed, but the possibility of a companion app with specific features may be worth considering. While not all tablets use the same operating system, some like the Surface run on Windows, this means that they have an access to the same apps and softwares as a desktop or laptop computer, including Blender 3D. This allows for the use of Blender on a tablet in the same way it can be used on a desktop, with added benefits of the tablet potentially doubling as a graphics tablet. Now if you really want to use Blender on mobile, the solution to this problem is to use remote desktop software. Remote desktop software allow you to remotely access a computer from another device, including a mobile device. This means that you can run Blender on your computer and access it from your mobile device as long as both devices are connected to the internet. There are a variety of remote desktop software options available such as TeamViewer, Remote PC and Chrome Remote Desktop. Each one has its own set of features and pricing, so it's important to research and find the one that best suits your needs. But in my opinion, it's best not to do that at all and sell your phone and kidney to buy the RTX 1490 setup and you will have no problem running out any 3D software. Now tell me guys what do you think about using Blender on a mobile device? Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.